these loans can be converted to grants, meaning you do not have to pay them back. This would be a game changer for most small businesses When the SBA created the PPP program, the idea was that the loan would end up being forgivable. It makes it far more attractive to small businesses who may or may not have taken on debt. As a small business owner, when you're trying to determine how you can best prepare to get your loan forgiven, the most important thing is determining what expenses you're going to be able to apply for at the end of the period. So planning out your payrolls, looking at what your rent expenses are going to be and other applicable costs. After you've considered your expenses, I would start to think about how you would document these so that at the end, you know, you have all the documentation to support those costs and you can adequately apply for forgiveness with your lender. The SBA has also established a safe harbor date. It's essentially the deadline you have to restore those previous levels of either employees or pay to not be penalized on your forgiveness amount for those reductions. The safe harbor date essentially means you have to revert back to a prior level of staffing or pay if you've reduced either of those in the meantime. It's a hugely complicated process. It's very hard to determine exactly what your forgiveness amount is, but it's encouraging to hear from small business owners how these funds have helped them keep staff that otherwise they would have had to let go or been able to support themselves as a sole proprietor when they otherwise wouldn't have had any income coming in for a period of months. These loans are continuing to be approved. I encourage everyone to kind of stay tuned and follow the program closely.